Rihanna. Before that, to foster the people. The Life Lounge, BBC Radio 1. Right then, it's time now. What is it? 11. Oh, it's nearly 11.40 exactly. 11.55. 56. 57. Okay, it's 11.40. So we will now cross live to Maida Vale to speak to Ollie Murs. Hello. Oh, sweetness, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? I'm really good, actually. You are one of the happiest men in pop, I would say. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you this morning? Do you know what? I'm about... I'm about nine at the moment. I'm a nine. Let's notch you up to a ten by the end of this, right? Definitely. I can't wait. To, I'm, I'm a bit nervous about doing this, you know. It's the first time I've ever done it, and I, I really appreciate you you getting me in here, so thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you in the live lounge making your debut. My debut. It's exciting. <laughs> um, have you had your breakfast? I had some porridge. Lovely. Um, I've got an apple juice at the ready, but I'm going to drink that after I've done these performances. Okay. Um, well. I just, yeah. Keep the voice sure ready to it. go. <laughs> okay. Um, are you are you in a bit of a weird place at the moment? Because I don't mean made of ale. I mean personally, because you're mixing it up between being a pop star and being a presenter. No, it is tricky. Yeah, I mean it's it's been bizarre. Really, it's been a crazy couple of months. I I didn't realise that. I mean, I know I was a contestant on the show, but I tell you, being a presenter is really tough. It yeah, really it's is very hard work. Yeah, and it, you know, sure, it, you know, it really. Sure. Is, I honestly, to I've always been the one answering the questions. So yeah. to actually then have to, to do a show with Caroline where we've got to actually ask the ask the questions is really tough. But I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. And um, you know, the one thing that was what I wanted to to, to main focus was the music and the fact that you know. My music's doing really well. I'm really happy. Were you apprehensive at <clears> first when they offered you the job because you didn't want to kind of obviously push your music to one side or jeopardise it in any way? Definitely. Well, we, you know, I had a couple of days to think about it, and I really thought, you know, what's best for me, and you know, and, I, and you know, the thing about it is, is when you, when Simon comes and gives you a call and asks you to do something, you kind of have to say yes. So yeah. I kind of went, yeah, all right, I'll do it. And um, but no, as long as it didn't affect the music, and obviously, Heart Skips a beat went number one, which was brilliant. Exactly. And um, that was a really great start for me. And, and the fact that we're, we're number one in iTunes at the moment with with this song is is incredible. So. I'm hoping I can hold on to it for the next four days. Looking good. I mean, your second album, in case you didn't know, is out next week. Your first album did very well, number two. Mm. How do you then go about trying to better that first album? I don't know. I, it didn't, I, I, I just wanted to... I know a lot of artists, they, when they do the first album and it's been successful, they then go abroad and they do writing with sessions in America and everywhere else. I just thought, you know, I want to keep true to my own and, and keep with the writers that made my first album successful. Nice. So. I wrote everything the same with pretty much everyone else and I, I, you know people always say oh you know you mature you know the next album is a bit more mature and it's a bit more yeah, you know, next yeah. level it's like I haven't matured much in a year to be fair but you know I just think it's maybe I'm more experienced in writing yeah. so I've got more involved in it and I can I, I know what I want to sing and what I, you know the album to be fair is pretty much 12 or 11 tracks of um, up tempo feel good tracks nice and a couple of ballads because you know ballads aren't really my thing I love doing them but I prefer up tempo songs I want my music to be happy yeah of course I, I mean how does that writing process work with you is it sort of a collaborative affair between you and these people that you've worked with on the first album yeah well they like I say because they when I first walked in last year they were like oh is that geezer from the X Factor oh god you know <laughs> and I got to know him really really well and I think they kind of got a gist of who I was and we did an album and it was really successful but I think the second time because they've seen what I've done since then on TV and stuff like that I think they got to know my personality even more so when we came around to the second album we could be a little bit more cheeky and a bit more sort of where we could go a bit with Ollie. I want, you know, as soon as I walked in, they all had ideas. I had ideas, nice. and it just felt so much easier. And to be fair, I don't know how I wrote an album this year. To be fair, I've, I've been so much, so busy doing so much stuff. I mean, the start of the year, I did the Comic Relief trek, and um, you know, of across course. Kenya. Yeah, with the camels. Yeah, I've done, I've done two singles off my first album, album already. I've obviously I've done my own tour. I've done the JLS summer tour. Then I have got the X Factor job, and it's just been like crazy. So what a whirlwind. Yeah, a brilliant <laughs> year though. Such a good year for you. Thank you. Um, we talked very briefly a minute ago about uh, Heart Skip to be which was number one with Rizzle Kicks I mean they're uh, they're my favourites I absolutely they're love great, those boys they? they've done so well this year and they're really brilliant they've got such good energy they're nice people um, anyone else that you would love to do a collaboration with that's on the list well we nearly we nearly did one with um, Professor Green me nice. and Steve got on really well we did um, Thinking of Me with my second single last year we almost did a collaboration and we had it all done and ready and obviously the labels it didn't quite work out in the end it was so annoying because me and Steve got on really, really well, and the yeah. track sounded amazing. Um, I think there's some really cool artists out there. I think when you do collaborations, you have to get the right person. I think, you know, I, I wouldn't want to do a track, say, for example, with Eminem, because he's just such a massive star that it would overshadow myself, you know? And I think yeah. you have to get the right artist. And I think what was so good about me and the Rizzle Kicks is because I still think I'm fresh in the industry, and I think they're fresh and coming through, and it just worked really, really well, and our personalities mixed. I mean, I love Eliza Doolittle. She's really, really cool. Yeah, lovely lady. Um, I've, always, I've always loved Pixie Lot. 
being an Ess fellow Essex, there you, you know, exactly. an Essex girl, I'm an Essex boy, so that'd be quite cool. But there's there's so many artists that I love to work with, but just getting the right collaboration, you know. Definitely. And what do you think the most exposing song on the album is? Have you kind of poured your heart out in some of them and really yeah, the, given away some stories? Well, there was one of them, which, the track 13, I've said this to all my fans already, this is my favourite track, um, it's called I Need You Now. And um, obviously everyone bangs on about me being single and I've said in the past, you know, I've been single and they're like, are you lonely? I'm like, yeah, I'm a little bit lonely, I suppose. Everyone gets lonely at times and obviously they make this big thing about it in the press. Oh, he's really lonely. <laughs> but I'm not, I just, I wrote a song that, you know, I walked into a session and I said, I really want to do a ballad this week. And then they're like, okay, what, do wanna, what, what should we talk about? So I just, you know, trying to find the right girl. And like, all my mates have got girlfriends. I'm the only one standing here alone in the crowd. And, yeah. and we wrote a really beautiful song about it. And um, that's my favourite track. It's track 13. And it was quite inspiring from, obviously, Adele, someone like you as well. That when you when you heard that song, it was just like it's you could hear every single yeah, note and verse and every word she said. It meant meant so much to her, you know. It's a scary thing to do though, man. It's exposing and terrifying, oh, no. but brave and, then, and lovely. And then I did well. a song called "I Don't Love You Too," which is um, kind of an um, kind of a bit about my um, nan and granddad, because oh. <laughs> because they always have arguments, which is really really sweet. And then they even go, "I don't love you anymore. I don't love you too." Oh. And so I thought instead of doing a song saying "I love you too," I was like, "I don't love you too," and it's about having a, an argument, but sort of falling out, but you still. Really love each other in the end you know, that so. must, they must be over the moon they've got this song <laughs> written about them that's so sweet <laughs> and I've seen their domestic arguments I'm sitting there watching them writing it all down this is quite interesting I'll <laughs> <laughs> oh, have to watch myself when I'm around you next <laughs> right we are going to get you to do your first live track for us your single yes. Dance With Me Tonight as you said it is looking pretty healthy to be number one can you hold on to it for four days we shall see on I hope Sunday so. I hope so I have to listen to the chart with Reggie on Sunday at four o'clock are you ready will. to do this I'm ready when you are Ollie Murs, take it away this is Ollie Murs in the live lounge with Dance With Me Tonight Good afternoon. Yes, Oli Murs. That is Feel Good Central, that. Oh, thank you very much. It just makes me smile, that song. Oh, that's good. And it sounded brilliant live. I know, it's amazing. Really happy with the band. Old band in the highway. Hi, band. Hello, band. Wait a minute. Can we? Can I have a, a musical hello from each of them? What sort of musical sections have we got down there? Right, we have got, the, we've got Marco on the sack. Marco, do us a bit. Oh, oh come yeah. on. Was we expecting a bit of Million Love songs there? Yeah! Woo! Come on! Yes! <laughs> Brilliant! Yes! Let me clear my throat. And <laughs> um, we've got Rupert on the guitar. Delicious. <laughs> Rupert the Bear, we call him. Love Ray that. Rupert, love, love that. that. Really yeah. love that. John on the keys. Oh! A delight. A delight. Benny Boy on the bass. The acoustic bass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> we got Shoot. Donovan on the drums! Love that. I'm detecting a cowbell in there or something as well. Oh, yeah. I've got John and Darren on the left of me. Cheers, Donovan. John and Darren on the left of me to do the boat BVs. Woo! Let's do this! Let's do this! <laughs> <laughs> and on the, on the violin, we have a lady called Lettuce. Is that your actual name? That is, that is, that is her name. Lettuce, wow. And she wants to meet a guy that has the surname called Leaf. Oh, wouldn't that be brilliant? No joke, she actually said this the other day. Oh. And what, what was the thought? You wanted to have babies and then one was going to be called Cress. First it's going to be called Cressida. Cressida Leaf. Cressleaf. Right. And then I'm going to have a boy called Alfalfa Leaf. Alfalfa Leaf. Oh, this is a very interesting <laughs> setup you've got here. I like it. Play us a bit, Les. Come on, quick. Yes. She's got good hands. Amazing. Love, Love that. the fiddle. Got to be done. The band. Well, they're brilliant. You're brilliant. Loads of text messages coming in. Loving that. Makes me dance like Colton from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Exactly Ollie. What I from <laughs> Alex in Chelmsford. Um, Shah and Emma say, Oh my God, Ollie Murs, you actual legend. We love you. Oh. Um, Chris in Birmingham, please let Ollie know it's still the morning, but nice voice. Because oh, you said good me. afternoon, but it is oh, still. Yeah. I was thinking that before. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, well, it's 11.51. It's all right. You're a pop star. You don't have to know the time. Uh, <laughs> bang on, Ollie. Loved it from Lee in Nottingham. Uh, Maria, absolutely loving that. Sandy Ellington, I love Ollie Murs so much. Um, uh, and also, uh, what about your hot violinist? Who is that? Well, we know now. It's, she's called Lettuce. She's called Ollie Lettuce. Murs. Oh, yes. Ollie, that was brilliant. Uh, we'd love you to do a mystery cover. So, what I'm going to do is play a bit of Florence of the Machine. Perfect. You can chill out, uh, have some of your apple juice, and we'll catch up with you in a minute. No worries. Thanks, we'll Ollie. See you in a bit. We go 